For privacy reasons, all people and places in this story have been changed. I think I was almost a missing person case. To set the scene a little better, I was probably about 10 years old and this happened around Christmas time. I ended up with my grandparents for the day because my dad was at work. My grandparents told me they needed to go Christmas shopping and eventually I agreed to go. We shopped for a few hours and we decided to go eat lunch. We ended up going to the nearest restaurant. I was still young and quite shy, so it took me forever to finally order my food. My grandparents apologized for me taking so long and then ordered their food. We went to sit down. I remember I had asked to go to the car to grab my phone since I had forgotten it. They told me to hurry back. I got up and I was walking to the door. I noticed the girl that took our order was staring at me. I just ignored it because I thought she was staring at the headband I was wearing. The headband was one of those colorful pom-pom headbands that were a craze back in like 2017. I came back moments later and walked over to the table. When my grandparents noticed me, my grandma gave me a cup and told me to go get myself a drink. I reluctantly agreed to go up there, but because at this point the lady was creeping me out. I walked up there and started filling up the cup and that's when the lady started talking to me. She kept asking me questions like, what's your favorite color and where are your parents? I didn't want to be rude, so... I just answered the questions, but they ended up getting worse and worse. She eventually asked me if I wanted her phone number, and I didn't want to be rude again, so I just told her I'd think about it and ran off. I ended up being safe and just not talking to her again. We eventually left, but I was so shaken up by that my grandparents noticed. They asked me what was wrong as we got into the car, but I I was too scared to tell them what had just happened. So I just told them I was tired. They didn't ask me any more questions after that, and we went back home. I still, to this day, wonder what would have happened if I would have said yes.